So bevacizumab has been shown across multiple studies to improve outcome of patients uh, with metastatic colorectal cancer. Uh, adding bevacizumab to fulfiri improves outcome. Uh, adding bevacizumab to irinotecan based regimens overall seems to improve outcomes quite significantly. Bevacizumab added to oxaliplatin based regimen um, adds little benefit, but, sig but significant enough to be considered somewhat meaningful. Uh, so bevacizumab overall seems to improve outcome when you add it uh, to chemotherapy. Now, there seems to be some level of differential between bevacizumab and irinotecan based regimens and oxaliplatin, uh, uh, I'm sorry, and bevacizumab and oxaliplatin based regimens. Uh, if you look across the studies that have been conducted over the last few years, consistently you see that there is a really good benefit when you add bevacizumab to irinotecan. With oxaliplatin, it's been less consistent, which uh, you know questions if uh, uh, there is perhaps uh, uh, some slight superiority for the bevacizumab plus irinotecan-based regimen. There was a study at uh, ASCO GI, the Maverick study, that essentially compared fulfiri bevacizumab to fulfox bevacizumab uh, in patients with metastatic colorectal cancer in the first line. The study was a dead heat. You know, the two regimens performed equally well. However, there was a very clear trend towards superiority with fulfiri and bevacizumab, improvement in survival and progression-free survival. It didn't reach the level of statistical significant, significance to uh, consider this uh, as a positive study or favoring Fulfiri, but it certainly trended that way. And then you look at another study, CLGB80405, which didn't compare directly Fulfiri, be Bevacizumab, and Fulfox Bevacizumab. In fact, it was a question of Bevacizumab versus Cetuximab. But what the study showed, uh, or suggested, I should say, because there wasn't direct comparison, is that the group with Fulfiri bevacizumab seemed to have done the best out of all the other groups, including Fulfox bevacizumab. So it makes you, you, makes you question whether it's truly just an, a, 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 a question of equivalency, meaning bevacizumab is equally uh, synergistic with the two backbone, uh, or, which I, I believe there's a slight advantage, for adding bevacizumab to irinotecan-based regimens.